Hey YouTube, welcome to episode one in scripting in Roblox. So I'm going to start off with the very basics. I'm going to start off. Um, I'd like to talk about Roblox Studio. So Roblox Studio is a program that comes with Roblox when you install it. Uh, it's basically uh, great for building. So this is um, Roblox Studio you probably are familiar with build mode which is you just use your character to walk around and build stuff well you cannot really do any scripting if you go into build mode so you have to use roblox studio and so if you do not have uh, a shortcut on your desktop you just go to all programs and then go to roblox and then roblox studio and just um, hold down the right mouse button and then drag it out onto the desktop and then create shortcuts here um, but I'm not going to do that because I already have an icon so I'm going to open this up and so let's get started so first thing we want to do is let's open up uh, okay well what you will want to do is uh, click on new and then this will open up a new place um, but I already have a place ready and uh, so let's open it up, and it's actually a blank uh, place anyway. So I'm gonna exit out of this first one. So let's uh, start out. Let's build ourselves a little platform. Um, it's only take a second. So, so yeah. Notice I'm using insert object, and then this gives you a bunch of random things you can put in there. So let's do spawn location, and it doesn't need to look pretty. Oh, but we need to anchor them. So, yeah, we need to anchor these. Which So if we were to just play this right now, these would fall down and we'd just fall. And the, these would just get deleted um, after falling into the void. So um, we need to anchor them so that they don't do that. Uh, and how we do that is we're going to go to View and then Properties. And so what the Properties window does is it offers... It, it allows you to change bricks and anything however you want so if I were to click on this brick all this stuff opens up like you can change the colors so let's change let's change it to green so voila it's green and then and then if we uh, you can make it see-through so like um, 0.5 and that makes it see-through um, but I'll be talking about that more later um, so yeah, let's it, we'll shift click. So oops, yeah. So now we have both of these selected and anchor. So yeah. Now what we're going to do to get started off is we're going to uh, actually delete our own head in um, play solo. So play solo is meant for testing out and stuff like that. Um, let me show you how to do that. So let's go to tools and then test and then play solo. All right, and here we are. And um, on our little platform. So also another thing you want to do is you want to open up this command bar. Right now it's open because I already have it opened up. So to open it up, if you if it's not already at the bottom there, uh, go to view, toolbars, and then command bar. And I'm going to take it away for a second just so I can show you. So now the command bar is gone. Uh, view, toolbars, command bar. So the command bar is used for, you use actual kind of scripting to uh, to just do stuff that you normally can't um, do with just the regular tools up here. And uh, for ex well. So we could do this with regular tools, but we're just going to use the command bar just for teaching purposes. So another thing we need to learn before we get into that is the Explorer. So let's go to View and then Explorer. And what the Explorer is is it has every it shows everything in the game. So uh, see, it, it has the workspace. The workspace contains all the bricks and stuff. So player one. Um, when you play solo, it names you like player one uh, instead of your actual 
uh, Roblox name. That's just how it is. I don't know exactly why they did that. I guess it's kind of simple that way. It's nice. And then so if we were to press that plus button, here's all the um, the stuff inside my character. So like here's my uh, here's my bat tie. Um, if we were to click on shoulder ghost, it now selects the shoulder ghost that I have, the turkey hat, and then we have all these uh, body parts and the torso. So notice we have the head. So let me just, okay. So yeah, we have our head. Um, and the head, if you notice, it's contained inside the player, which is contained inside the workspace. So, what we're going to do is, uh, let's go game.workspace.player1, um, no, not player2, player1.head, colon, remove, and then parentheses. And as you can see, that just killed me. And so I do not have time in this video to go over um, how that worked, but in the next tutorial, I will um, go over what this did. Uh, you don't need to understand this now. Um, I just wanted to, you know, get you guys all oriented with um, with Roblox Studio in case you haven't used it yet. And uh, um, yeah, so. I think that's just about all I want to cover in this video, and um, I'll see you next tutorial. Thank you for watching.